every day I dream big Work hard, stay humble, praise God Ignore the haters, I'm going to cry Every day I stay young and travel See something I wanna go get Yeah, see something I wanna go get Yeah, see something I wanna go get If I got a dream on my heart, I get it I'ma go get it, yeah, I'ma go get it Man, I'ma go get it, I'ma go get it Most uh, wanted to maybe just be more of this with defense, you know, uh, play within the scheme, get our eyes right, see how I take leads, because, I mean, everything else is just probably normal. You know? This year, I definitely do want to be known for more than just that one pick six. I, I obviously want to get multiple. You know, uh, I just want to be that guy who shows versatility, who, who can show you just he can, I can do it. I can do anything. I can play in the box. You know, I want to show you that I can be a post safety. I can cover man to man. I just want to show you just a lot of my skills. Hi, I'm Frank Broads, and you're watching the life of a this is the life of a hog. This is former hog C.J. McLean. I'm here with Rohan Gaines. Yes, sir. Did yes, I say sir. that correctly, Rohan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. One of you. One of you. All right. Well, I, like I said, um, I've, I've had the pleasure of following you a little bit on social media. Things have changed a lot since I've been in school. Uh, we didn't have Twitter <laughs> or Facebook or any of those things. So I noticed you're extremely popular uh, with social media. You got about 9,000 Twitter followers. I don't know if you knew. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. About 9,026. So you're not at 10,000, but you're kind of <laughs> close. So maybe uh, once you get into the pros, you'll pick up a couple extra fans in that new city. But, um, you know, you're, you're originally from Bainbridge, Georgia. Yes, sir. I went to school in Georgia for about four years. I went to Lovejoy High School. Okay, oh, yeah, so, y'all are very good in basketball. Yeah, yeah, we had a couple really good players that come out. But um, I know I know you played basketball and quarterback and wide receiver in, in <laughs> high school. But uh, So tell me a little bit about being from Bainbridge, a town of 12,000 or so people. Um, what's it, it like? It's, it's, it's different, you know. Um, it's a small town, so basically everybody knows everybody. And... Um, you know, if you have a little success, usually the city is behind you, and that's that's a good feeling. Uh, you know, it's just like any other city; we have our ups and downs, but I feel like as a whole, you know, we, we've come together and did some positive things. Awesome! So you got a you got a big support system there in Bainbridge. Yeah, yes, and right. Family, friends. What kind of family you have? Large family? Uh, I do have a large family, but um, you know, it's mainly just my mom, dad, two sisters. You yeah. know, my nephews, and you know, a few uncles, aunties. Not, nothing really, nothing really huge, but I do have a strong support system. And I know that's really important. Um, you know, me personally, I played for the Hogs as well as you know, and aspired to play some pro, and and never got the opportunity to go as far as I'm sure you're going to go. But I found out myself that the the main thing is having that support system. Um, you can do that. We have a support system here that's one of the best in the world. Arkansas right. Razorback fans. <laughs> oh yeah, are some of the best in the world. And uh, you you came from Bainbridge. Um, and we're signed with the Hogs to play defensive back, not quarterback. You know, <laughs> I, I know you said you played some quarterback in high school. I did, I did. What was your favorite position in high school? Um, my favorite, my favorite position was actually quarterback because it's just the thing about having the, the ball in your hand every play. Every play you're out there, the ball is in your hands. And plus, I like to score touchdowns. So. Yeah, well, you like to score too. So you <laughs> took the basketball, you got off the football field and went straight to the basketball court, played point guard. So you also like to keep the ball in your hand. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, so how'd that season go? Uh, it went well. Um, I missed, I missed the beginning, the beginning of the basket, my senior year of basketball because of an injury I had in football my senior year. So. Just coming back and those guys still accepted me as a leader and as a starting point guard, it was fun. Uh, I think I actually, I came in half the season and I led the team in assists. Like, yeah. I think I had like a hundred of them. So. Well, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll come to that a little bit because uh, you faced some struggles. Um, you know, injury in high school, uh, some things that you went through in college, but um, you seem to continue to rise to the top. And just like the, the heart of a Razorback, heart of our Razorback fans, you, you never quit. And you, your character shows throughout all of these, um, all of these difficulties. But we'll get to that a little bit later. All right. Um, you signed with the Hogs, played defensive back, had a huge and stellar freshman year. Um, All SEC freshmen, uh, some some All-American votes. 
So what did it feel like? You come in as an as a registered freshman, but you had to you know sit out that first year. What what was going on a little bit in your mind when you get here and you, you didn't get an opportunity to actually play in that first year? Uh, it, it was tough. It was tough, you know, because you know. Everybody coming out of high school in order to be here, you know, they had to be good. Mm -hmm. They had to be pretty good on their high school team. So coming in from high school and being the man and then coming to college and and not being able to show my talents to the world, it was hard. It was, it was difficult for me. And um, but I, but you know, my mom, I talked to my mom, my dad, you know, and my family. They told me just keep faith, yeah. keep believing, keep believing in what God has planned uh, for me, and, and it worked out for the better. And faith, you talk a lot about that. Um, I know. That it had to be tough on you though, because I looked at the map. Bainbridge, a few hours away from uh, Gainesville, not very far from Tallahassee. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you, 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 those guys missed the boat in a sense. But I'm sure you were ready to prove to the world that you know you were the real deal. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I definitely was because Arkansas was definitely one of my biggest offers that I had coming out of high school, and I wanted to show the world that that I'm, I'm better than that. Mm -hmm. that. They missed out on, on a good play. And they did. And you, you, you got to prove that here in the SEC. Um, it didn't, didn't get to play Florida much. They weren't. They, they didn't rotate that schedule very well when you were in. But when I played, um, we had the unfortunate task <laughs> of going down, to, uh, going down to the swamp a couple times. It didn't go very well. But, um, you know, it was a good time. I, 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 and the SEC is the best place that you can play oh, football. So. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So then you go on, um, have a... Uh, uh, I would say fairly, according to statistics, that is fairly good sophomore and uh, junior season. And that junior season was clouded by a little bit of controversy. Uh, we, I, I told you when I saw you earlier, I consider you the big hit bandit. All right, right. Follow a lot of Razorback, uh, former Razorback players, as far as being that big time safety. Uh, so you put a big hit on an LSU guy and that was suspended for the game, the next game. Uh, for targeting. For targeting. Yeah. Um, tell me about how difficult that was for you. Because I watched the play over and over, as many, many Razorback fans have. Didn't, of course, I'm biased, of course, to you. Right, right. But, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't see any malicious intent. But uh, how tough was it for, to know, being a team leader and having to be taken away from your team, um, there at the end of a year where you really were, were getting some NFL hype? Uh, it, it was hard. Uh, it was hard just to be in the locker room and, and nobody else be there and, and just knowing that, that I could have possibly helped more and helped my team. We won, we won the game, you know, mm -hmm. it was a great game, but just knowing I could have been there to help my team more, it hurt me. And then having to sit out the first half of the next game, it hurt as well because, you know, one not that A is, is, is a different experience, yes. you know, it's, a, it's an experience like none other. And, and I wanted to do it with my teammates, I wanted to do it with the seniors. And it, it was hard, it was tough, it was tough. Well, and that goes, that leads to your character again. I'm um, just struggling through that injury in high school and um, then difficult, dealing with some difficult things when you were attempting to go pro professional, possibly. But Coach Bielema got the team on a roll there, finishing the year pretty strong, including that SEC uh, LSU win. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we were happy to see that you returned for your senior year. So and then you come back and you have a spectacular se senior year, uh, lead the team and just about in any major category uh, defensively, you know, the heart of our defense, good to see you running around the field, you know, bring a lot of good uh, feelings to me to see you back and uh, finishing your career on a really good positive note. And what was that like to finish on a good note? It, it was exciting. Uh, you know, the moment I got back to just see the reaction of, of my teammates and, and the coaches and, and how they treated me when I, when, I kept, when I got back, it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling to to just grind one more time with, with my friends, you know, these are, I made lifetime relationships here at the University of Arkansas, you know. Absolutely. And in order, in order to, to be out there with them, you know, in my one last ride, it was exciting. Yeah, and, and we got to take uh, part in that, um, you know, watch you guys really lead um, the SEC there by the end, mm -hmm. and a lot of major categories, defense stepped up, made some big plays. I think that's what really made the difference, made it a, a different team all around and uh, allow the quarterback to be a little more comfortable knowing that his mistakes won't be compounded um, because you know he trusted in his defense. Right. So I think it helped out in a lot of ways. And uh, we got another opportunity to follow you and see you here in Razorback land. Uh, we're gonna miss you dearly, but you're getting ready for the NFL draft um, out in Arizona doing some training. What do you think? Uh, what, what's, what's it like to be finished with college? You got your degree in yeah. advance. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate um, it. In sociology. So we're really proud of you for uh, taking advantage of the opportunity to come to college and, and get a degree. Yes, sir. But now you're off to the pros.
So what's it like? What do you got on your mind every day? Uh, I just have grinding on my mind every day. You know, I basically have to do the same routine every day. I, I wake up, you know, I shower, I eat, I train, I eat, I train again, yeah. and I eat again, and I do it all over again. You know, it's just a process, and I know, I know that it's a lot of people doubt me right now. I know it's a lot of people, you know, that's that has question marks about me, and I'm gonna come out March 16th and show that, that there are, there shouldn't be any doubts. So I'm going to prepare myself and I'm going to train just like I wanted to have. Well, I mean, anyone who's followed you from high school um, wouldn't have any doubts themselves. Like I said, you've been through a lot of tough times. Always continue to persevere to, um, I, I would say, to the utmost, uh, uh, to the utmost level. Yes, so uh, you know, I'm really proud to be associated with you as a former Thank hog. Um, watch you go. I played with Kanoi Kennedy <laughs> and big, big hit in safety. So um, I, I've got a, a special place in my heart for you. You took, <laughs> you took a kickoff, not a kickoff, excuse me, an interception back 100 yards against Ole Miss. And I watched that play over and over again in my senior year. Kanoi Kennedy did the kind of the same exact thing. Really? Yeah, we had <laughs> Ole Miss down, I think 31 nothing. They were driving in the same south end zone, but it was the other side of the field. He took an interception back to uh, keep, come, you know, keep, complete our shutout that year of Ole Miss. And I thought, man, you know, um, so, you know, Kanoa had a pretty good NFL career. Okay, I heard, I heard. So I, I, I would hope that you get to uh, reach the same level that he did in the pros and go further so we can watch you play for many, many years. Yes, sir. Uh, it's the life of a hog, you know, and it's it's the best place that we can be in the world, the state of Arkansas. Razorback fans, I'm here with Rohan Gaines. Uh, life of a hog. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Look, every day I dream big, work hard, stay humble. This is Rohan Gaines, and this is the life of a home.